All right, guys, we're here with the man himself, Matt Maywald. We're gonna do some chess today. Um, gonna get some sets in, walk you through. Um, he does some different stuff. Uh, great content for you guys to learn some new things, focus on some different chest activation stuff to really actually grow your chest rather than just moving around weight. So I'm gonna be filming this. I'll have him do some talking too. Um, we'll have some good stuff for you guys, stay tuned. All right, so what are we doing here? First exercise. So this is a chest machine fly. So basically, I'm just keeping my chest high and wide. And I'm trying to basically like I'm hugging a tree. I'm coming straight Elbows are about 135. They stay there flexed. Motion is just from the pec squeezing. I imagine like my chest is zipping up. I can zip it from the bottom of my chest. Come up, zip it up. Squeeze, keep your shoulders wide. You see too, right here, he has his shoulders retracted. He's not, it's called pronating, bringing his shoulders forward. He's keeping it locked in, his lats, everything is back. He's just squeezing that tree, zipping it up. Keep your life weight process, little tip at the bottom of the sternum, high. Jesus Christ, look at that contraction. Slow and control. That's filthy. <laughs> All right, so exercise number two, I'm doing an incline hammer press. I'm gonna show you some of his uh, elbow angles, everything like that, how he's gripping it. I'll have him explain as I'm doing the movement. Okay, get your legs wider, get your better weight base. Yeah. Plants into the ground, kick your butt back, push your back flat against the pad, flare your lats, it's like your front relax spread. Keep the tension on your chest, right there. Head back, head back, zip up, zip up the chest. There you go, keep chest high. There you go, right there, zip up. <clears throat> All right, so exercise number three, we're doing the decline hammer strength. I'm gonna let Matt cue me some more as I do the, the next set. But super important, stabilize everything. You notice that his shoulders are not just going flying forward and coming back and he's throwing the weight. He's contracting at the whole time. Gotta get the chest pump. All right, head back. <laughs> Side angle, down a little further. You yeah. see the peg tight. Like, that's, that's so cool, man. That Bob, thank you, Bob, for that. Yeah, yeah. He's our <laughs> lighting coordinator. Head back, bro. There you go. All right. So what are we doing now, man? This is a banded decline hammer strength press. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea. <laughs> so he's he put the band behind the seat. Let's go all the way around. Added resistance, get the placement right. As you can see, it's going all the way around the seat. Only got one plate because of how much resistance it has. Lunch. <laughs> right, so we finished off with a heavy decline, hammer strength press. Now we're doing with band. We took light and load and added the band. Makes it progressively harder to press. This is a dog fight right here. <laughs> tight grip, stay tight, whole time. Keep those lats engaged. Squeeze, fight for it, squeeze. <laughs> So as you press, it gets harder to push away, so the tension increases. 
Great way to finish the chest. All right, so Matt's hitting us with a combo. Neutral press to a fly, a little variation of a fly. This has always been super, super difficult for me. That's why he probably wanted to do it, to make fun of me. Um, so he's gonna be cueing me uh, to make sure I'm doing it right. So this is super intense. He's doing it really slow, keeping the tension on the chest. Um, and he's doing this different variation of the fly where it's not straight up and down, but he comes back. Um, he'll explain more. Um, I'm gonna get him on the camera cueing me. So stay tuned. So we have an inclined hex press to an inclined fly. Keep your back flat against the pad. Keep the stretch on the chest. Squeeze. Chest high and wide. Up. Okay, now you come down, have the dumbbells in front of your face, come down a little, lead the way. Like so the head of the dumbbell right here, have it lead the way on the descent. The descent, so like this? Yeah, right there. Keep it up, yeah, keep the pressure up on the upper pecs. Right there, squeeze. Keep the tension, good. So you keep your shoulder blades high and wide. Get your back flat, back flat. That allows your pecs to stretch more. So if you arch a lot, you're gonna put some more slack in your anterior plane, in front of your body, and not get as much stretch in that lower pec area that you can force to keep that back, lower back flat against the pad. Lower back flat, don't arch. Get that stretch in the lower pecs. You need this, the squeeze from the lower pecs, like you're zipping up a zipper. Just like that mind-muscle connection comes into play. There you go. Now the lower pecs are working. You'll see like, yeah, activate and a line come across his chest. Good shape. Okay, next exercise. We're doing lateral dumbbell raises on an inclined bench. So you can see Matt is sitting. Matt's sitting on an incline on the bench and he's gonna show you the movement pattern of his lateral raise because he does some stuff a little differently. Um, sometimes he'll go a little straighter arm. Sometimes he'll have more bend at the wrist. And you'll kind of explain that in a second here. And with that, you're gonna superset with a bent over, dumbbell. So he's gonna superset that more vertical, upright, dumbbell lateral. Um, and then he's gonna go to a bent over. It'll look more like a, a mix between a lateral and a, and a rear delt. Um, it's not gonna be straight arm, it looks like bent arm. I'm gonna have him cue me and kind of explain what he was doing. A straighter. Okay, so basically, do do a more of a yeah. So you sit, you straddle the incline bench, uh, so your torso is upright, and you don't really have to brace yourself with your legs as much. You just focus on your shoulders, and it's gonna be a lateral raise for 15 to 20, straight into a front raise for 15 to 20. Then you're gonna slide down into the seated bottom of the seat and do a, a bent over raise for 15 to 20. It's a continuous set. So you're gonna get about 45 to 60 reps. A lot of blood flow in the shoulders. It's like keeps the shoulders healthy, uh, especially when you're doing a lot of pecs. Uh, make sure that you are balancing out your like, or chest work and your back work. A lot of people make a mistake. Too much chest, not enough back. A lot of issues in the shoulders, which are actually bicep tendon issues. So it keeps his chest high, keeps his shoulders as wide as possible. Yeah, front raises from that position there. Now flare Not up your lats. Arm, it's a, it's a no, this is a straight on one actually. Neutral grip or You're gonna be slightly uh, more of a um, front relaxed grip type of grip. There you go. Yeah, neutral. Good, good job. So he's keeping his shoulders back, not throwing them forward. His rear delts are actually working a little bit in this movement too. You can see the whole deltoid has to work. So once you get 15 or 20 of those, you're gonna slide down the bench. Stomach on the legs, belly on your legs. Bent elbow? Over, yeah. You're just gonna pull your elbows back. Don't worry about your hands so much. Just bring your elbows back to about the same level as your shoulders. Scapulous 
Yeah, open up. Good. Keep your chest low. Keep your chest low. Good. Good shit. I'm gonna do a Cuban press here. Good. See if you can make working on external rotation. I was high, rotate all the way up, press up straight, come down straight, rotate all the way down, all the way down, then elbows bleed down. I was up, rotate. This up so it'll stabilize your muscles, rotator cuff, your shoulder. Make sure you put in like the work for your rotator cuffs. When you get old like me, you can hear it. This guy is pretty young, so <laughs> that's a big deal, but make sure you're not shortchanging yourself and mixing, mix, missing the little the little parts. That could fight you in the long run. And then from here we're gonna go to that upright row portion of the cuban press. And then so upright row portion. Let's go straight out to a lateral raise, lateral, and then negative down. Control the negative, control, control. Five second negative. Out, control, hold it. Arms straight out from the body. Use your lats. Use your lats as a base. It's a platform to keep your arms up and wide. Control, control, head up. Shoulders wide, shoulders wide. Wide, wide, wide. Get wide, flare up. Stay wide, arms all the way out, straight to the sides. Fight it, good. That's a new one for me. That's a good one. Seven and a half pounds will kill you. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Um, with Mr. Maywald, myself, chest and shoulders day. Um, what I'm gonna do, is if you have any questions about the exercise that we did, a lot of cool stuff, um, a lot of technique stuff, obviously. I'm gonna put his um, uh, Instagram and his email and everything in the description box. Um, so you can contact him. I'm gonna put mine there too, so you can contact me. But other than that, if you guys like the video, like the workouts, try them out. It's gonna smoke your shoulders and chest for sure. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, definitely would like you guys to just subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot of cool content coming. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.